Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about XRP. We've got some interesting news to cover today as it relates to XRP. So Ripple is interested to find out how much XRP are members of the SEC actually holding. Now that is intriguing. That is super interesting. We're going to get into that in a little bit. We're just going to take a look at the charts here real quick and talk about that. Also go over a couple articles, and I'm going to show you a snippet from uh, Old Coin Daily, a great video uh, that they put out today. They've got great content. They're getting close to 1 million subscribers, and I watch them every single day to kind of get up to speed on the crypto news. So we're going to watch that little part uh, that they talked about XRP in uh, in this video. So uh, with that being said, we'll take a look at the charts right now. So XRP right now down to uh, $1.12. Now, it can go one of two ways here, and we're going to talk about that first and foremost. So, Ripple price analysis, XRP loses 9% in a week, but could a big move be ahead? And I think it could be. I think we're getting ready for a nice breakout in XRP's price. We did push up to about $1.35 not too long ago. It can go one of two ways. The apex of the triangle right now, as you can see right here in this pattern, is quickly approaching, and a breakout in any direction can be expected. Now, if we look ahead, first support lies at $1.10. Uh, we haven't broken that yet. This is followed by $105, $1.92. Uh, $1 now, on the upside, you've got $1.15, $1.27, $1.36 is where we got just uh, pretty recently, then $1.49, then $1.61. So, obviously, we've got the court case still looming. That's the big one. I think we're going to get some kind of resolution by the end of the year. I would like to see that happen in September, uh, but I want to bounce over to a YouTube channel real quick, uh, and this is Altcoin Daily talking about Ripple. The next piece of news, next update involving Ripple, XRP versus the SEC, Ripple files a motion to expose the XRP holdings of SEC employees. So reportedly, now the SEC has until September 3rd to reveal what their employees hold to the courts. Nice deadline to keep uh, on a notepad close by at your desk. September 3rd, the court has to turn over uh, what they hold, uh, s some of their employees. So it's going to be interesting. I think that the mindset here is that if you let your employees back in the day buy, sell, and trade XRP, why would you let your employees do it but not the American public? A new motion document seeking to bring clarity to whether the SEC did or did not permit its own employees to trade XRP, which, as per the SEC's allegations, is an unregistered security. We'll come right back to that real quick. I just want to talk about our Patreon page real quick. We're getting close to the first of the month. If you want to join the Patreon, come on over. We've got a great, great community brewing, and uh, that link's down in the description. Is now in question. The motion seeks to compel the SEC to provide anonymized documents reflecting trading preclearance decisions not only for XRP, but also Bitcoin and Ethereum. And they're not trying to dox anybody. You could redact the names, you could just put that data in an aggregated form, but they want to know generally what is that information. Give me your take on this down below. If Okay, so I think this is interesting. I'll give you my take real quick. And uh, shout out to Nut and a, a couple of our private community members. Nut holds a ton of XRP. He's in our private community. If you want to learn more about XRP, he is there. Come on over and join us. Link down in the description. So this is what I think. I think it's just hardball, right? It's hardball at its finest. It's a battle right now, and I think both people are punching up against a brick wall. Both parties involved, I should say, right? And it's going to be interesting to watch this whole thing shake out. I really still do like XRP, okay? And I know I get a lot of flack because, Zach, you don't even hold XRP. That doesn't stop me from covering it. I'm still interested in the asset, and who knows? If we break to the downside here, I might just buy the dip. I'm actually in the process of getting my account kind of all figured out with Uphold. That's a place where you can get XRP in the United States. I'm going back and forth with uh, their support team, so we'll see. I'll have uh, I'll have something for my insiders on this soon, uh, whether or not uh, whether or not I get into it. So chances are I will. Okay. All right. So so you won. Okay. Uh, who's out there? Uh, Lincoln Boca. Uh, nut, okay, 
I'll be talking to you. Uh, and if you want to join our conversation over there, come on over. Uh, Wednesday's the first of the month. Great time to join the Patreon. So let's bounce back over to the charts here and take a look at where we're at. Uh, if we take a look at some of the technicals here, actually indicating a buy here in the one day. Now, if you go to the four hour, it's a sell. Uh, two hour, one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes is a buy. <laughs> this is why day trading can be so difficult. Things change so quickly. And then the one minute is neutral. Uh, so it's just kind of fluctuating right now between the $1.20 to Dollar eleven right now. So you can see here, three days ago we got back up to about a dollar twenty, and then started circling back down. But I think a breakout at least to this next level of resistance is imminent. I think we're going to pop back up to a dollar thirty here. I just don't know if we're going to retrace first back down to this, uh, you know, level of support, which will be somewhere near a dollar. I do think that's going to happen here. It's looking that way. Um, so I'm hoping I can go ahead and get the dip somewhere down in here. That would be ideal. Uh, let me know down below if you're actually holding XRP. I think it's going to be interesting to kind of watch this whole uh, scenario play out. There also are some deadlines to be aware of. So it looks like this thing uh, you know, could be heading into later this year. I, I think October, November is when we'll finally get some kind of clarity, full clarity. I'm, I'm sure there will be some you know, articles along the way that give us some insights, and I'll be here to deliver those to you uh, as I see fit. But I think until we get full clarity of what's going to happen, uh, I think the price will probably be locked in probably a range here. Who knows, though? Because uh, things can change very, very quickly, and I know a lot of people have crazy bullish price predictions, and I hear you. I I'm with you, and, and I want to get a piece of XRP, too. But... Um, you know, you've got to prioritize some things. I, I went all in on Cardano. That's proving to be a good decision. I bought a lot of Cardano at $1.02 and uh, emptied my bag at that time, right, to, to buy the dip there. And uh, happy I did, right? Cardano's almost at $3 now, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. But uh, XRP, let's bounce over to uh, this article here. This was an interesting, interesting one. The uh, crypto uprising the SEC didn't see coming. This was an article just put out today. This is interesting. Basically making the argument that this entire SEC versus Ripple basically created a huge community of crypto members who were coming together as one. When the Ripple lawsuit was filed, that ecosystem galvanized an independent battlefront unexpected by the SEC. <clears throat> SEC. It's a good point. Anyone could be next without warning. Many point to the 2018 speech by then SEC Director of Corporation Finance, William Hinman, when he outlined how the Ethereum token Ether is not a security and used criteria that could even more convincingly be applied to XRP. This is often uh, referred back to, and it's a really good argument. Uh, it seems as if XRP is getting made an example of right now. Uh, how this all plays out, I do think if I had a, you know, a teeter-totter right here and I'm like, ah, who's got the... Who's got more weight? I think I'm leaning toward XRP in, in winning this battle. Let me know your thoughts down below. Where do you stand on the XRP Ripple versus SEC? And uh, give, it a, give the video a thumbs up, especially if you got some value here. And uh, moral of the story here is we've got some interesting insight coming on September 3rd just to see who in the SEC is actually holding. We won't find the actual names, but we'll get some kind of data, it sounds like, uh, in terms of how many people hold it within the SEC. So that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, I'll, I'll bring you up to the latest on XRP. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.